Bienvenue à Dublin, métropole d'environ 2 millions d'habitants. Malgré une récession ces dernières années, l'activité économique semble être repartie. Et c'est non sans conséquence sur le développement urbain de la métropole. J'ai rendez-vous avec Craig Bullock ce matin. Il travaille à l'université de Dublin et il va m'en dire un peu plus sur le projet Opéra qui met en avant les bienfaits de la relation entre l'urbain et le rural. Dublin is uh, expanding very rapidly. The population is expanding rapidly. There's a very high pressure for housing. There's a shortage of housing, and indeed that's the main political issue at the moment. Un territoire du Grand Dublin semblait tout particulièrement concerné. Well, Fingal is um, is a metropolitan county. It's on the the edge of the the main Dublin area. It's, it's kind of a suburban area, but it's also a periphery. It's on the periphery of the city. But in recent years, all these places have developed very considerably with new housing and new apartment development. And I think in Fingal, the population is now something of the order of 200,000 or so, and it's expanding probably it's expanding in Fingal more rapidly than I think anywhere else in the country. Venons-en au projet Opéra. The Opera's project is uh, it's a European project. It's essentially been looking at uh, what we say operationalizing ecosystem services. They are the the benefits that the natural environment provides for human well-being. There are three principal ecosystem services. One of those is uh, provisioning service, which is essentially the supply of food and materials by the natural environment. There's a the regulating ecosystem service, it's essentially the capacity of the natural environment to regulate its quality. So it could be things like uh, maintaining water quality or vegetation protected against soil erosion. And there are cultural ecosystem services, which are the benefits the natural environment provides for people's uh, way of life, but including also recreation and amenities. Would be an important part of that. Répondant aux services d'approvisionnement et de régulation, Fingal est aussi et surtout un espace récréatif pour les métropolitains. It would be a place that people would go to for purposes of amenity and recreation, particularly along the coast. It's very popular for people to go, particularly on day trips. So it's, it tends to be quite a busy area. Si Dublin ne cesse de s'étaler, alors pourquoi ne pas envisager de densifier la métropole? There has been a policy in place to do that for the last uh, 15 years, I suppose, to develop um, unused lands within the city, to in increase the densification of the city. But at the same time, um, that, that policy is partly a response to the, the rapid population growth within Dublin. Dublin is uh, very much the, the largest city in Ireland, so in terms of the urban pressure and urban growth, that's particularly strong in Dublin. So despite the policy to, for densification, there's still demand for new housing on the outskirts of the city. L'équilibre urbain-rural est ici fragile et menacé par l'urbanisation croissante de la métropole. Sans préservation de cet environnement naturel, c'est l'avenir du Grand Dublin qui pourrait bien être à son tour menacé. Mmh.